the main role of the leader from what i feel can be just summarized into one sentence and if we get this right and if we believe this i think this is the crux of what leadership is because everything else will stem out of this help my team member to succeed what do you think so there are whole books written on leadership which are all great stuff but if you summarize all of that into one sentence i truly believe this is it help my team member to succeed now why is this so powerful and so important if i say if i say danul my role as your boss is to get the maximum work from you the moment they feel they are being used they will want to leave but interesting isn't it you know the classic definition of management you go to the textbook definition of management the textbook definition is getting things done in and through others my role is get things done for you does that make you happy i think i please get more things done for me i want to get more things get more things done so if i say now danul my role is to help you succeed in your career i want to help you succeed in your career i want to help you build your career i want you to be successful as a profession how would you feel you will feel happy so friends how many of you feel happy now if i am helping you to succeed in your career are you going to do good work now if let's say fatima is not doing good work say hey, fatima come on i am trying to help you to succeed you are not helping me to help you how can i do this how can i promote you which i want to do if you do not do this x y and z now how would you feel would you feel angry with me for saying that you be angry you feel bad but will you be angry there's a big difference between feeling bad and feeling angry you are going to feel bad sanjeev is trying to help me i am not doing my part you are going to feel guilty you are going to feel upset think back to school days now were were there teachers there who you know what really tough would scold you if you don't do your work properly yeah would somehow get you to do the homework would somehow make sure that you listen in class but if you see that teacher today you walk across the road when talk to that person say sir go over there can i give you a cup of tea how many of you do that see because at that time also we didn't really like that today we appreciate that and we think i am here today because of what you did for me there are also some teachers if i meet them today i would i would ignore them there are the teachers who came to class and told us look i am not going to teach you in class if you want to study come for my tuition class and why i am telling you is i don't respect them at all Then why should we? <laughs> There will be teachers who come and say, "Today I am feeling a little lazy, so I am going to read the newspaper." So you all do whatever you want, right? At that time, we were like, "Feeling happy! Wow, free period!" <laughs> Today we look back and think, "How many of you played sports? School, uni? Yeah, coaches are not the easiest to work with, right? Especially if you are a winning team. So when you run and run and run and run and say, "The time, run one more!" But today you look back and think, wow! Because of that coach, we won. And some of the best moments of my life are because I won. Helping the team to succeed. Doesn't that make sense? Because if my only goal is to help you to succeed, I don't have to think of what to say. I don't have to think of what to feel. Because that is my motivation. That's what's driving me. But doesn't this really? summarize everything <laughs> so it's not the leader trying to get work from the others so that the leader succeeds if you go to your team and say guys 
See, I've been having an old Mercedes now for the last 10 years. I need to get the new model. You can see there are new models. There are so many people driving these new models. Don't you think I deserve a new... Guys, you need to work harder, achieve your targets. So I can get a better Mercedes. Come on. Can't you support me as well? <laughs> then why do I care? But isn't this what we say in other words? We go to a team and say, work hard, we need to increase profits. The board has given us a target, we have to increase profits by this percentage. Who cares really? Do you guys really care? Do you all care really care? So there's a, there's a small story, right? So this, this company which were making medical devices. So this company was making a small device which was used in the apparatus which would give oxygen to patients in hospitals. Now CEO of this company is talking to the team first of January. So I wish you, wish you guys a happy new year everyone. Last year we made 10 million rupees. Very good, well done. This year we need to make 15 billion. Can? It's like a 50% increase, right? <laughs> Everybody. So, uh, this year it was not that. So he came and says, guys, I am so proud of you all. Last year, together, because of all of you, we were able to save 10,000 lives. Because of what you manufactured, we were able to provide to hospitals, when people need their oxygen, they were able to get the oxygen because of our medical device and we saved 10,000 lives. Guys, I applaud you and everybody is like happy, clapping, jumping, you know, all that. Very emotional. Our CEO says, what do you think? Can we get together this year and save 20,000 lives? Are you with me? Can we do this together? Wouldn't that be amazing? Think of the impact we are going to have on people. And everybody's, yes sir, let's do this. Was 20,000 versus 10,000? 100% increase. What's the difference? You're touching the heart. You're trying to sell a vehicle lease to someone, right? You are trying to motivate your staff to go and get more, sell more vehicle leases. You are actually not selling vehicle leases. What are you selling? Dreams! You are selling dreams! If this person's family has a vehicle, wow! Their living standard is going to go up, they are going to be able to take the children to school, they are going to be able to do this, they are going to be able to go on trips. Lease can never equal only. See here. Now think, I sell my leases and I get my target. What have I done? I have made so many hundreds of families happy. Now isn't that different? By doing that, don't I also achieve the target? So you have to think, where, where does emotions come in? People are not driven by anything other than emotions, ultimately, end of the day, right? Emotions need to drive us. Even if it's they're selling software or whatever it is, figure out the emotion. How do we link this? How do you link this? How do you link this? Is that making sense? Whenever you think some, something is a good idea, and I will ask you, do you think it's a good idea? Can I say, can I ask you to say, it's a great idea, and very quickly high five the people around the table. <laughs> so, help my team member to succeed. Is it a good idea? But do you really believe this? Do you really believe this? Does it resonate with you? Is this what, it, what it's all about? And when the team member succeeds, what happens to me? <laughs> You succeed! Wow, no brainer. So what has happened? You have achieved your targets now, and you are happy, and the team is happy, everyone is happy. If what somebody is asking, so after all this we achieve target and you get a Mercedes. Doesn't matter, as long as the team has also got whatever you promised them to get. It's, it's all about being transparent. It's all about walking the talk. It's all about being authentic. It's all about being uh, genuine, really. Now, for example, if you go to Diyawanna and you ask the, the, the minister, 
what are you doing? Mama inne ogalan to udau karan ne? Will you believe the guy? <laughs> Why? The credibility is not there. So it's not just words. It's do we mean it? So recently I went to uh, to do a whole series of programs for the undergrads, which I'm enjoying thoroughly. So I did one at Sabaragamua. Went well, and the students were like really interested, right? The next one was at Japura. <laughs> Jafura, now when the person from Slashcom was doing the intro, I was I always look around to see what are people doing while someone is talking, right? That's learning for me and preparation for me. How am I going to tackle this? And I realize this probably 10% were listening, 90% were on their phones, not even bothering to pretend to listen. Now, if I am talking, I don't want even. Two percent to not be listening. So I try to make sure everybody is. So I got up there, and it was now totally off the cuff, not planned, because I first needed to get them to listen. Why are you here? I'm sure you're here because I literally told you to be here. You have absolutely no interest to be here. I don't know. I asked them, how many of you are interested in yourself? Forget about being interested in whatever. Are you interested in in your self, in your own future? If I had nagged you, what then I would have told them go home. <laughs> what else to do, right? So these ones, they 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 were surprised, right? First of all, there was a nice podium on the stage for me. I didn't stay there. I just got off the stage, came into them like this, and I'm in their face. <laughs> what do you want? Are you interested in yourself? So I'm already not interested, right? Oh, good. Now let me tell you why you should listen to me. Right, because people like you, when you go to industry, you think you have got a qualification, you won't get a job. <laughs> you won't get a job because the industry says you are highly qualified, yes, but you don't suit the industry because you don't have this thing called soft skills. <laughs> and let me tell you, I've I have interviewed more than six hundred, seven hundred people like you in my life and rejected most of them. <laughs> interviewed at companies like this, which you are trying to join. Now, do you think you should listen? Now I can see attention is there, and the guys are wondering why am I talking to them so passionately and maybe a little bit harshly as well. I said, "Look, I am here only to do a two-hour lecture for you. As long as I do that two-hour lecture, my job is done. My job is not to make sure you listen to me, just to teach and go, which I can do. But that's of absolutely no use to me." <laughs> Right? I want to help you. I want to make some change in you. Right? That is why I'm not on the stage behind the podium. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you like this. Now they are listening. Now they want to learn. You can see the the difference. As soon as we are genuine, people will respond to that. It has never failed me, really. It has never failed me. So, what's the what's the thing? Be genuine. <laughs> yeah. So today in the morning, we were trying to set up the sound, and I lost my cool with the technician <laughs> because the guy was trying to tell me the reason it wasn't uh, coming properly on the screen was the laptop. I said, no, it's not the laptop; it's the projector. And that guy, like he knew 100%, it was not. He was promising me it was the projector. I said, okay, then let's try. Uh, it was the laptop. So he tried everything on laptop. Then finally found it was the projector. <laughs> Don't say things with hundred percent certainty and belief if you are not sure. <laughs> But the point is, it's always me. I am never trying to be someone I am not. So you get the good with the bad, and I think that's fine, isn't it? Right? We all have bad in us, no? Nobody here is hundred percent good, are we? Yeah, we all have bad days. We all have little idiosyncrasies. That make us who we are. So I'm saying, if you don't know what you're saying, don't say it like you do. <laughs> Then say it like, I'm not sure. Let's check both and see. That will be fine. Are you understanding the difference? For for me, that was also a learning moment or a teaching moment. So let's be genuine, and I think everything else will fall into place. You look at the leadership of our country. Fundamental problem is we don't have genuine leaders. All our leaders are looking for something for themselves first, 
Not that we are not looking for something for ourselves. Yes, we are. But hopefully you are trying to give value first and then get something for ourselves, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you are trying to get something for ourselves without giving any value, I think that's fundamentally flawed. So, help my team member to succeed. Team member succeeds, I succeed.